you have two right here that you can feel free to pause and try these out. Um, it'd be great practice. We're just going to start going over. So 1B, 6 over X plus 5 over 4 equals negative 7 over 4. We're going to clear these fractions by multiplying by the lowest common denominator. Now, the denominators, I have X, I have 4, and I have 4. The 4s are the same. So we need to have 4 and an X. So we're going to multiply by 4X to everything. And remember, you can do 4X times 6, 24X, and then divided by X would just be 24. Or like I said on the last example, it was kind of rushed. But you can also, we know the fractions are going away, so you can just multiply by what is missing in the denominator. This has an X already. So it's missing the 4. So you do 4 times 6, 24. This next one has the 4, but it's missing the x. So x times 5 would be 5x. And this negative 7 has the 4 on the bottom. So we're just going to multiply by what it's missing. It's missing the x. So negative 7 times x would be negative 7x. Now we're just solving your normal equation. So we can subtract 5x's from both sides. 24 equals negative 12x. Divide that by negative 12. 24 divided by negative 12 is negative 2. Now, would that give any of the denominators 0? Would it make any of the denominators 0? Here's the only spot where there's an x in the denominator. And if you put a negative 2 there, it's not a 0. Right? The only way you'd have a 0 as a denominator is if it said x plus 2 as one of your denominators. So we're good. All right, let's try out this one. x equals 6 over x minus 1. There's only one denominator, and that's x. So we're just going to multiply everything by x. Now, x times x is x squared. Here we've got the x in the numerator and the denominator. Those will cancel out, so we'll just have 6. Or you can do x times 6 is 6x, divided by x is 6. Minus x times 1 is 1x. So we get them to the same side. This negative x over there would become positive x. Moving that 6 over there, you'd have to subtract 6. So we'd have x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. Factors of negative 6 that add up to positive 1 would be x plus 3 and x minus 2, which gives you the two solutions of x equals negative 3 and x equals positive 2. Now check. Remember, the only extraneous solution on here would be if it came out to 0. The only thing x could not equal for sure from the get-go would be 0. And neither one worked out to 0, so they're both good. You know what? Let's go to a little more complicated ones. What do you say?